signing up with Home by Me. Go over and click sign up. Make sure you log in using your Google account, your school Google account. Once you've logged in, or if it asks you along these lines, just make sure you said you've read um, and accept the general service conditions and the privacy policy, making sure that you're not going to misuse this program in any ways. Continue. For this project, you're going to start by creating a project. You have up to three free ones. From here, you can click Next. Just come up with a name. Just choose Other, Apartment, Next. Start with I want to go fast and start with a general square unless you would like one that has a bevel edge. Click Create. When you click on the walls, you'll notice that you have your measurements throughout. You can also find out what your square footage is by clicking the I up here and it tells you your square footage. Based on what apartment or construction you're deciding to build, you are going to adjust the walls until it reaches that dimension that you are looking for. From here, you're going to build your walls and just start making your walls. They don't have to look like the examples, just as long as they have the general idea. So say I'm just going to do a one bed, one bath validate when you're done building your walls. You can now go into products and furnish it, build your doors, your windows. Um, if you go back into the floor plan area, you can also do room separators. Say you want to have carpet here, but then tile here, but you don't want to create a new room. That's also an option. And then you're going to keep going through. So say I need a door. I'm going to choose a door that I like and click add and then just drop it on the wall where I want it. You can change the swing of the door um, by clicking edit and you have the options to change where the door swings and hits up against. When it comes to furniture you then just go into furnish. You can search up here for what you're looking for or search by room. And say I choose this TV. Place it near where you want it to go zoom in a little so you can see it a bit better and you see the up and down arrow go ahead and grab that to lift it into the air and then push it back to where it needs to be on the counter and to make sure that it's where you want it to be just go down into your foot view to have a better view notice it's kind of floating you can fix that by going back into the 3d mode and editing that clicking, dragging it where it needs to be, and positioning it. Alright, I don't have a floating TV in the middle of nowhere. Always make sure you're clicking save as you go to save your project and come back to it. It should be located in your projects. Alright, right there. That's all for your intro.